Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Taro and to your love, love read. Let's see how you're feeling now Scorpio, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And yes Scorpio, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Okay, uh, Scorpio newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Scorpio, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, happiness, the sun card. Okay, let's see how that's coming. I do feel that somebody is right now at crossroads. They know they have to end something, to start something, or they, like there's a lot of planning going on, um, at standing at crossroads, trying to decide which direction one a person wants to move in, right? The other person has been waiting for that decision. It's almost like, yeah, I'm starting to see the long-term goals, uh, something that will go the long distance or happily ever after maybe they're waiting for the other person to make the decision I don't know I'm going to clarify all these cards for you um, Scorpio let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then I'm going to clarify these Scorpio and that person spirit Scorpio and that person Scorpio and that person's spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Right? Let's take a few more Scorpio from another deck. Scorpio and that person. Scorpio and that person. Okay, and a few more Scorpio from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading. Scorpio and that person. Good to go, Scorpio. Let's start the reading. The first card here says, It hurts me to say that we should go our separate ways. That is what I think pers one person is contemplating. Should I go back or should I, you know, go the other way? And uh, Scorpio, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Let's talk and clear the air. I see my future with you. I didn't have the courage to tell you. I have an addiction. I know I'm the one to blame. Sometimes I wish I'd never even met you. I want to impress you. I have inner childhood wounds. I keep looking up at the stars, hoping you're looking at them at the same time that I do. Somebody really wants to be on the same page. The other person, I'm not too sure. I tried to walk away from you, but something keeps pulling me back to you. How can you love me after I effed everything up with our connection? I'm not your prince and you're not my princess. I am your emperor and you are my empress. I daydream about being the parent of our children. Alright, Scorpio, these uh, were some of your messages. If these were resonate, resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message retreat so could go either way uh, Scorpio maybe one person wants to now maybe go for a holiday and re you know revive this connection this could also be that maybe it's time to take a step back from this connection so what's happening here I'll have to clarify these cards and figure out what this means 
So I'm going to focus first on person A's energy, Scorpio. And uh, newcomers, please don't get confused. Um, these are just two soul energies in front of me, person A, person B. If this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on. Okay, so let's focus first on one side and one side only, which is person A for me. So person A, two of wands in your emotions, feelings. What's the two of wands? Two of wands. One more. Yeah, it's almost like somebody is very confused here. They want to come out of the cold, heal some kind of heartbreak. Somewhere they fear that their person will be upset with them or angry with them. Uh, I don't know. What's the death card? What's the death card? Yeah, this person is very depressed right now. Maybe they want to offer a new beginning, but they're unable to make a choice between maybe two scenarios here. This person is very confused. It's like, I want to heal things. I don't know whether this I should give it a second chance, and yet... They have the Ten of Pentacles on their mind. Then they are depressed and they can't make a choice towards a new beginning. Uh, tell me more, person A. What's this Ace of Cups? Ace of Cups is usually a brand new beginning in love. Yes, there is somebody that they are, uh, they have unconditional love for. Judgment. Judgment. This person doesn't know. This person, yeah, this person could have an option between two. Maybe there's somebody who they're already in a legal contract with. There is somebody who they love, who they want to have a new beginning with. Right now, feeling very unhappy and feel, going through the dark night of the soul. I don't think this person wants to even talk to themselves about this decision right now. It's like, I don't know what to think. I don't know what I want. I don't, I'm just standing at crossroads here. I want to transform some situation, but I don't know how. Uh, they are confused between either having a brand new love or reviving something of the past. So either way, I think they are not happy with whatever decision they're making. They don't, they don't look very happy. So how do you see person B then, uh, person A? What's your, um, feel, what are your feelings on person B and the connection with them? Temperance. They, they don't want to break person B's heart because they do still have a lot of admiration for. They feel that that is somebody that they have a long-term vision with. Yet they don't want to be in a commitment. Uh, they're just biding their time trying to figure out what to do so they, they can get over their sleepless nights and stress and tension. This person feels everything in their life is going backwards instead of forward, feeling very stuck and knowing that they have to make a decision soon, drop something, but they don't want to make any unwise or foolish choices here. That's why this person is stuck. They, they know they have to end something to start something new. I think this person has high regard for both. And they don't want to upset maybe somebody who's already there who they still have feelings for and yet they know that to have anything new they have to make that i don't know okay so they'll have to make some decision or take some action this is an action card i'm going to go on to the other side and see how person b is feeling maybe there are children involved here because the sun card is here and i have a ten of pentacles page of pentacles on this side as well that's why it's difficult for somebody to make some decision so person B, let's talk to you now. Uh, three of Wands in your feelings, emotions. Yeah, I think you are, uh, you're feeling that your person is uh, turning their back. Maybe they're giving to more than one. You want this partnership to stay. You want an equal give and take. You're seeing the long-term vision, but uh, you feel that your, your person is just being a player and creating bad memories in this connection. You, you're waiting for... Uh, what are you waiting for? Let's see. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles. 
somebody feels that all they want is stability and long term partnership and happiness but uh, their person is creating some kind of drama which is not making them feel happy maybe there's been some argument or fight where person b feels that uh, they will be on the losing end of whatever decision is made why do you feel this way person b page of pentacles what's the page of pentacles they don't want things to change they don't they don't they don't want a third they don't want third party maybe this is a third party situation they don't want things to end because of a third party person b doesn't want things to change in this connection they don't want uh, they don't know the truth yet though about whether there is a third party or not or whether there is whether the the person is choosing somebody else they don't want to lose uh, maybe the stability which was coming from person a because uh, or they just feel that person is not making wise choices or wise decisions three of swords in reverse three of swords in reverse they want to heal this connection with person a who they say i still do love but they feel that person is just behaving like a trickster and standing at crossroads and not making any decision so person b seems to be waiting person b seems to be waiting for uh, justice or balance to be brought back into this connection So how do you feel about the connection now person B how do you see person A how do you feel about the connection person B says things are very stagnant at this time omkara taro there's nothing moving and i'm kind of losing hope i'm losing hope that uh, the too much of delay is happening here they feel things are stuck too much delay is happening and they are left waiting for the results They started with this card on person B's end, the three of wands, three of wands. They are very stressed out. They're up in their head trying to figure out where what is happening. And I do see person A is not making any decision because they don't know what decision to make, and that's really upsetting person B who 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 yeah overthinking, stressing out. Look at this, eight of swords, nine of swords, waiting for to figure out. and the more they are waiting the longer it's taking the more uh, anxiety and uh, lo- losing hope they feel that person is uh, just not taking action in the right uh, direction or they're just thinking about themselves or they're just being selfish or self-centered mm, they feel um, they feel that their the anxiety is that their person could be working on an on something else or could be walking away to a passionate brand new beginning of their own so that's giving person b a lot of anxiety i don't think person a has made any decision yet so let's see let's see what actions you guys will take i'm going to take another deck for this one uh uh scorpio and uh, may i request you if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate makes me feel happy thank you so much and newcomers repeating viewers the ones who haven't subscribed already Well, it's free for you to do so. All you have to do is tap the subscribe button and become part of our Omkara family. We welcome you in. Okay, person A, you're finding it difficult to make a decision. So, what's your action? See, I told you. They're finding it very difficult to make that decision. This person is like sitting and just blindfolded their eyes, and they know that they have to make a choice. But they're just sitting there. Two of Swords. Why are you why are you blocking out yourself into not making a decision? Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Cups. This person is uh, almost going through depression right now. This is like a lot of depression. I would say a lot of disappointment. Maybe about something that happened in the past. Maybe feeling. Uh, you know left out in the cold feeling nobody loves me this is a i'm sorry to say this is a big pity party going on like uh, you know why didn't things grow i don't know what to do i'm just going to sit under a tree and i don't want to make any choice yet 
Give me three more for you, person A. Come on. You can't. You can't just avoid. It's almost like they're avoiding, just sitting in their own misery right now. Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords. They feel if they rush towards any, any situation in a hurry, thinking this is going to be victorious, it may end up in pain. If I choose left, then what if that doesn't work out? If I choose right, thinking that's going to be excess, success, what if that doesn't work out? So that's why they are, uh, they are here, stuck thinking. They haven't made a choice. Person B, tell me, uh, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Ten of swords in reverse. What's the, why is the ten of swords in reverse? Do you want to heal this ending? Or are you hurting now? What's the ten of swords in reverse? The sun card. See, this was the overall energy. Sun, the moon, the knight of pentacles and the ten of cups. Yeah, person B wants to have this partnership. They want to have this partnership. They are in their emotions at uh, the stagnancy that's come in. I think person A would be very happy if uh, person person B would be very happy if person A would uh, choose to give to them forever. That would make all their dreams and wishes come true. And that was exactly what I had here. Somebody is thinking about what makes them happy, and the nine of uh, nine of uh, cups is here as well. I think this is person B saying that if my person chose me or came back to me, uh, it would make me really happy. It would make all my wishes and dreams come true. The other person, I think, is a bit at a standstill right now. Uh, what's the sun card as the overall energy for Scorpio's reading? Sun card. Two of Pentacles, so yeah, two of sorry, two of Swords, Strength card, and the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and oh God, I don't know. Somebody's in two minds, two minds trying to gather up the courage, to maybe to walk away from a situation which had a lot of conflict. But if they do want to talk, they do want to talk and maybe, I don't know which one they want to talk to, but they want to at least clear the air. It's like, let's talk and clear the air. Somewhere they, f they are fearing, may either making the wrong decision or fearing that either direction they will be not in a happy situation or it's going to end. Uh, what spirits, ad <coughs> spirits advises for person A, I think. I think first focus on yourself. Be single, independent, take some time out for yourself because this is a mess. This person is a mess right now. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.